it's Dr. Wu Di for the inner circle, the Qigong inner circle. And today I want to talk to you about a practice to clear the three bodies. We have our physical body. We all know that's where we feel the pain, that's where we feel everything. This gives us an idea of where we are on the planet through our physical body. Then we have our energetic body. Those are the chakras spinning around, top of the head, third eye point, throat point, the heart, solar plexus, navel, sex centers, and then there's some other chakras. There's one spinning around the hands, one at the elbows, one at the knees. So we're basically energetic beings moving in space. And how we, is our physical body, and that energetic body also has the meridians. So if you look at this little guy over here, he's the meridian man. So the meridian man, this shows all the pathways of the meridians, like lungs, large intestines, the stomach points, the spleen, the heart points, small intestines, then the bladder comes over the back of the body, and then down, and then after the bladder, there's the kidneys. The kidneys starts at the bottom of the foot, comes all the way up to here, and from the kidneys, we have the pericardium. We don't hear about the pericardium that much, but it's the sac around the heart, and in Chinese medicine, has to do a lot with your emotions. It's the package that covers or surrounds your heart. So the pericardium starts right here, moves out the center finger, and then something called the triple heater. We don't have triple heater in Western medicine. It has to do with how the waters move through the body, all the waterways. There's the upper, the middle, and the lower jowl. And when you hear three jowls or the three different centers, lower center, all the abdominal stuff, your digestion, middle has to do with the liver, upper has to do with the heart. So balancing those, so it goes lungs, large intestines, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestines, bladder, kidneys, pericardium, triple heater. Then it goes into the gallbladder, which runs all the way along the body. If you get a migraine headache, a side headache, it's usually a gallbladder. I had a patient come in the other day, they had diarrhea, then they had constipation, kept going back and forth. It has to do a lot with a gallbladder, stabilizing the gallbladder. And then there's the liver. The liver is really an important organ because the liver, it's where we carry anger. It's also when we get very toxic, this side, when we get very toxic, the liver pulls out the toxins. Okay, so we've got all of his organs, and then we have one that starts right here at the base of the penis, if you have a penis, and the other one starts at the tailbone and goes all the way up and ends right at the lip. That's central and governing. So we have that body, we've got this body, we've got the next body, which is our meridians and our chakras, then we have another body. The third body is our spiritual body. Come on over here, look at this chart for a second. So, when we're looking at the three bodies, we have physical, we have our energetic body, and then above it, we have our spiritual body. So, if something happens in your life that's out of control, let's say someone passes away unexpectedly, they get hit by a car, it doesn't fix, it doesn't really affect us, doesn't do anything because we didn't get hit, but it affects the spiritual body and it throws this body out of balance. If this body is out of balance, it goes right into the energetic body, which ends up in the physical body. So when that happens, we get or we accumulate junk. You know, something happens all day. Somebody yells at you. Somebody says, I don't love you. Somebody says something and it disturbs you energetically. So I'm going to show you an exercise that works with the three bodies. Now, in the Hindu, it's the Hindu philosophy and the Buddhist philosophy, there is an interesting thing. If you've ever been to Thailand, you see a bird, it's called a Garuda bird. 
has uh, like a bird face and a human body. And they say this bird flies around in a big circle. And the circle is maybe a thousand miles. And what they do is they create a vortex of energy. So as the bird flies, it creates like a, a vortex. So all of the energy, like this, it's flowing. So if you imagine from your navel point, so this is your belly button, and you imagine when that bird flies around, he's creating a great vortex of energy that opens up the heavens to you. Now, under the ground oh, 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 is the same, well, let's, uh, is the same type of triangle. It goes like this, but it goes down. And there's also a vortex of energy. And they say that under the ground, like the earth entities, there's a, a, a deity or a, a, from, the, from the Tibetan Buddhist philosophy, there's an animal, it's a cross between an alligator and a, and a seal. It's called a makara. And what it does, it eats negative energy. So any negative energy comes in, that's how it feeds. It loves the negative energy because it thrives on that. So, this exercise, we're going to imagine that Makara is down here eating the energy and that Garuda bird is up here flying and bringing in the energy and they're both going to meet at the navel point. So we have a tremendous of energy, amount of energy from the earth and from the heavens streaming through our body. So let me show you the exercise. What you want to do is you want to reach up and grab the energy from the Garuda bird. And you imagine you have a great big net with a very fine strainer. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull that net down through the three bodies. So it goes like this. You inhale, grab the net, pull it through the spiritual body, pull it through the energetic body, and now pull it through the physical body. Again, inhaling, grab the energy, pulling it through the spiritual body. In other words, you're straining all the junk out. Any type of negativity, any type of energy that's blocking you, you're pulling it right through you. Then right through the chakras and the meridians in your second body, and now through your physical body, and you're going to let it go and you're going to feed the makara. Again, grab the energy and pull it through your body. Inhaling, exhaling. It's almost like you're flying, but what you're doing is you're cleaning and purifying and purifying your body. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and relax. Just let your hands rest at the lower tantien. So what you've done is you've grabbed all this stuff in you, all this stuff, all the negative energy, all the stresses, any type of emotional imbalances, and you're taking charge. You take charge of your own health. You're responsible for your own health, and you make it so you can grab all the junk, pull it through your body, and strengthen yourself. It's Dr. Meridian Man over here. He shows all the meridians all the points in the body, all the acupuncture points. And I want to show you something that's interesting. We have the lungs. So, you know, our lungs are here. And then if I turn this little guy around, our lungs would also be in the back. You know, both sides, our lungs are protected pretty well. And in Chinese medicine, the lungs are on the metal, they're part of the metal element. And the lungs and the large intestines are together. So if there's a digestive problem, sometimes I'll look into the lungs as well as the, as well as the large intestines to get everything flowing. Now the emotion for the lungs and the large intestine has to do with sadness and grief. On the positive side, it has to do with valor and courageousness. So there's some points right under the clavicle right here, that clavicle is that collarbone, 
There's a point on both sides, and there's an exercise to open up the lungs and free up all the energy. This is a very powerful energy and a very powerful exercise that I want to show you. So it's easy to do. What you're going to do is your hand, whoop, let me get a little more room. Uh, where, where do you need me for room anesthesia? Right here? I'm going to strike with the side of my hand right under the clavicle. Then I'm going to strike on the other side. So my right hand is straight, my left hand strikes under the clavicle, and then the opposite side. It's done with breathing. So it's an inhale, exhale. Let your head follow your hand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, strike. Inhale, strike. Inhale. So when I do this exercise, I'm bam, I'm hitting that meridian. When I hit that meridian, more oxygen comes into my lungs. My lungs get stronger. So what happens is I move all this energy through my lungs and I start to open up the lungs. So this is an interesting. The lungs, you know, here's the lung meridian. It starts right under the clavicle and it runs out the thumb. But in actuality, it comes from the large intestines. It goes up, it circles the lungs, and then it surfaces here and comes out the thumb. Now, here's another one for breathing, because usually when we breathe, we usually breathe just from the chest. If you've been doing yoga for a while, you start to breathe from the abdominal area. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do another exercise to open up the lungs, because we want this moving. We want the lungs open here. We want the lungs open in the front. We want the lungs open totally. So here's how it goes. You're gonna put your hands like this, like you're a music conductor, right? So you're gonna go, lung, bum, bum, and do, do, do. We're gonna combine it with a double breathing technique. So you're gonna inhale, and then exhale. And then do it three times. Four times. Now five times. Now I'm inhaling six times. Now I'm going to exhale six times. Now I'm going to inhale five times. Tonight's meditation is a meditation that goes with the microcosmic orbit. I had a patient the other day come in and she said what's happening is she felt that there was a lot of negative energy around her yes. and how does she protect herself. So I explained to her that when we do the regular orbit and we're doing the microcosmic orbit, we're breathing down the front and up the back. So what that does is that aligns all the chakras the crown chakra with the third eye, the third eye with the throat, the throat with the heart, heart with the solar plexus, the solar plexus with the navel center, navel center with the sex center, that to the perineum, and then it goes up. So as we increase the flow of our breathing, increasing the flow in the microcosmic orbit, what happens is we build our spiritual digestive system. We're able to take in more, but sometimes we take in so much, it gets to be too much for us, 
and we, we overload sort of. So here's something that you can do that really works well. So when you're doing the orbit down the front and up the back, and when you go up the back, you sort of shoot the breath up the back, and you let it shoot up into the air. So it goes way up into the heavens, and then it makes an umbrella, like a protective umbrella. And what happens in that protective umbrella, it rains down a soft, gentle, cooling rain that protects and soothes you. So you're doing the same meditation. You're putting your hands in gamma lane, putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and you're beginning the orbit just like usual. So you're inhaling. Hold the breath for a moment. And then exhale. Let's continue that. Breathing down the front. Exhaling up the back. Inhaling. Exhaling. Okay, good. I want to teach you an exercise called the Thrill Yourself Exercise. Okay. The Thrill Yourself. You know, sometimes you get real excited, and it's just things are just bubbling out, and you want to just let that energy out, but sometimes you're, you can't do that because you're inappropriate or something like that. But if you sit up, and sitting on your sits bone, and what you're going to do is you're going to inhale, bring the breath down to the perineum, and then you're going to hold the breath, and then you're going to start to just shake on your sits bone back and forth a little bit. And you're sort of going to bring the thrill where it's spiraling up like the kundalini up your spine, and you're whoop, like that. So, okay, let's try that. So you're going to inhale, wiggle in your sits bone, start the sound. Okay, that's good. This is like a thrill factor that we're going to build in. Okay, again, inhaling, shaking the sits bone. So when we do that, we're shooting out the top of our head. Now there's something that even more exciting than the thrill. It's the deep thrill. So the deep thrill, you do the same type of exercise, and you start the sound, but you're going to do the sound sub-vocal, and you're going to bring the sound all the way to the top of your head. So you inhale, starting the shaking, Starting the sound, the thrill's going up, so inside you're going, and you're bringing it all the way up, and then relax. Okay, again, inhaling, start the shaking, start the sound, 